So today I'm in the workshop of a gentleman I met over 25 years ago. He's an inventor and experimenter, and uh, on the side he likes to build crystal radios. So I asked him if he mind if I came over to his shop and did a little video of some of the crystal radios he's built. Some of these are over 40 years old. He's also published a book on crystal radios. I mentioned it a long time ago in a video I made called Radios That Work For Free. Uh, he's also got a, a second edition of this now. And um, let me, well, let me let him tell you himself. Here he is, Mr. K.E. Edwards. How are you doing, Mr. Edwards? I'm good. And I'll, I'll hold the be glad for you. to take you for a walk down these uh, radios. I appreciate it. Um, this first one here is a broadcast band radio, coils wrapped on a piece of PVC pipe. It's link coupled, uh, standard 365 picofarad capacitor. This next one here is a broadcast band radio, and it's a wrapped a basket weave coils. Homemade capacitor made out of aluminum and plastic separators to keep it from shorting out, but from binders, school binders. And so the inductance is coupled, the antenna is coupled to the secondary by moving that. This is a shortwave radio. Oh, excuse me, it's not. It's a broadcast radio, but it's a spider web coil, and my glue has come undone here. But this uh, is a coupling that moves it in and out for uh, to get create selectivity. This is a little detector. Uses a couple of razor blades and a piece of iron pyrite. If you set that on there and find the right spot, it'll work as a diode detector. This is, of course, a, a crystal homemade knockdown crystal stand with a galena and a cat's whisker. This is a shortwave receiver, and it's got homemade capacitor and a fixed uh, uh, coil. Uh, this is an interesting experiment. Uh, this is a FM receiver, and when you tune FM with a diode, this diode detector here, you're slip detecting FM, and it comes through just fine. This is a, a long wave uh, capacitor and variometer coil for uh, long wave uh, frequencies. All of these radios in this line here are in Radios That Works for Free number two, and that's available on Kindle Books. I think you said you didn't mention the, you didn't have this one though, the FM one? No, no, and not, that's and not in that's there. That's just, just a little experiment are, you did. Nothing these, on that. These are on uh, Kindle Books, uh, Radios That Works for Free number two. All of the radios on this side, Radios That Works for Free number one, there it's available in paper and on Amazon uh, Kindle Books. So, uh, experimenting with, with, uh, with color and how you construct them and what materials you use is uh, great fun. I love the way you've got this slide inductor here. Uh, the further away, the sharper the radio tunes, the less, the less power you have, but the sharper it tunes and you can get good selectivity by pulling the coil back. That's a shortwave one, isn't it? Right, it's a shortwave radio. Tunes uh, not much to it. No. What what frequency range? Uh, up to uh, from about uh, six to ten megahertz. Oh, this looks familiar, like something I've seen in a. Well, I I I got a radio when I was a kid. <clears throat> My dad oh, brought home, and I liked it so much I thought I would copy it. And, Beautiful. and make a little example of it. This is was manufactured by the Martian Radio Company, the Martian Radio Company in uh, New Jersey. No kidding. Now these detectors here, uh, for those that aren't familiar <clears throat> with the detectors, can you explain that a little bit, how the detector that has been replaced, now everybody's using these uh, germanium diodes here in place of the original cat's whisker and the... Uh, Right. Well, these stands here. Well, here's the original one here. Right. That's this, a, this. This was the most popular radio detector that demodulates a signal, right? That's correct. And, and this, it used galena ore typically. Uh, you could find some 
carborundum and you could find some iron pyrite but mostly galena because it was the easiest to use these i built uh with pencil lead as as uh the cat's whisker and by putting different uh, materials underneath on this silver plate it creates a creates a diode uh, likewise this is another version of that and this was crazy. I couldn't believe it. This is a pack of matches here with just like a slight light metallic uh, paint on there. And well, it actually worked as a diode detector. I, I think it's metallized mylar. Interesting. And, and uh, by finding the right spot, it, it functions. It took you forever to get it to work, but I heard it with my own ears. This is um, typically called the Foxhole Radio Second World War. The... Uh, soldiers made radios to listen to what was happening in the in the war effort. This is uh, two pieces of carbon that have a sharp edge and with a sewing needle across them. So you just move this needle across like this? That's right. Is that a pretty good detector? It works very well. Huh. And this was another stand that I built to hold a razor blade just for uh, because I, I made it out of a an old razor. I thought it would be kind of fun to do. So this looks like your most sophisticated crystal radio of all. Would I be correct in saying that? Uh, yes, you are. It's got more buttons and knobs on it than anything. In fact, the back side of this thing is amazing. You got a rotary switch there, and well, it's um, a tapped. It's a tapped coil. It'll do short wave and broadcast. Um, we use a two-plate capacitor to separate the short wave out from the broadcast so we put that in when we need it it's got a cat's whisker or a diode so all i can say is build them and have fun they really are a lot of fun i remember as a kid my uncle ken built me one and i just uh became addicted from that point forward anyway boy i sure appreciate the little tour you gave me mr edwards um your book, again, is available through Kindle, you said? Well, Hope and, and Ellen Publishing for the paper book, um, Kindle Books for the e-books. I'll go ahead and put a link to the uh, books in the info section of this video. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Boy, that one there is... Uh... Unusual, but that's not a crystal radio. I realize that. No, they're regen. How long ago did you build these? In the, in the last year. This is a 1625 transmit tube, and I'm using it in a shortwave receiver operating as space charged regen. Interesting. What were you telling me the, the story behind this tuner here? What was the This is a variometer, uh -huh. and I'm going to build a, a long wave radio with this. This is the capacitor for it. Nice. And it's going to be a regen and this variometer coil is going to uh, increase the coupling of the regenerative circuit so that uh, it gets louder and louder until it goes into oscillation you back it off. That's called a variometer. Uh, uh, thanks again. Very cool. Hit the record button here.